A smug reporter recently hit Kellyanne Conway with a cheap shot about President Donald Trump's honesty. However, the woman from the press pool instantly came to regret it when Kellyanne put a wooden stake through her heart, leaving her in utter regret. You don't want to miss her response. The mainstream media never misses an opportunity to attack our brilliant president with petty accusations on insults. While President Donald Trump is busy doing the hard work to create jobs and secure a sovereign nation for you and me, the left continues to lick its wounds over the lost presidential election nearly two years later. Because liberals can't concede power, they have launched a multi-pronged attack on a duly elected president using deep state operatives like special counsel Robert Mueller and the constant flow of disinformation coming from every liberal news outlet available. What happened on Friday, May 4, 2018, at the White House to Kellyanne, is a good example of their bad behavior. According to Newsweek, as the counselor to the president was leaving an interview, she was bombarded by a horde of White House reporters who drilled her with questions on what she knew about the payment to Stormy Daniels. One reporter, who doesn't have very good judgment, went in for the kill shot, but it would backfire big time. Can we count on the president to be honest, the reporter obnoxiously asked. This is when Kellyanne went nuclear on the demon hag. The president is very honest, she said before launching into a list of the administration's accomplishments. The smug reporter never expected to get hit with so much brutal truth at once. He promised to cut taxes, and he did. He promised to get North Korea and South Korea to sit down and change the course of history, and they are. He's got his delegation over in China working on more fair, more reciprocal trade deals that stop screwing the American workers and American interests and American businesses, she exclaimed, according to Daily Caller. Kellyanne pinpointed a couple more real issues that Trump is working on while the mainstream media stays fixated on Stormy Daniels. We have a half a billion dollar trade deficit with them. It makes no sense to him. If you see him yesterday surrounded by different faith leaders of six different religions and you see the reformed man that he brought up to the podium, that's the president that I work for, that's the president I know, she added. I could not agree more with the president's counselor. President Donald Trump has done everything possible to keep his promises on tax cuts, jobs, welfare, national security, and so many other important issues that have been made worse by the eight years former President Barack Obama spent in the White House. It seems ludicrous that anyone, whether it be a Democrat or a Republican, would attack such a successful president as he reaches unprecedented milestones for all Americans. It's moments like the one on Friday morning, where I am reminded that conservatives won a tremendous victory in 2016 that will have positive effects that reach far into the future. I cringe when contemplating how our country would have continued to diminish under a Hillary Clinton administration with politicized agencies such as the Department of Justice, the FBI, the CIA, the IRS, and the EPA. People just don't realize the extent to which Obama and the political elites had undermined the integrity of those key government agencies and had successfully utilized them for political warfare. The deep state did undoubtedly exist before Obama, but he was the key to giving socialists infinite power and control of our government. Thank God. President Trump had the fortitude and skill to defeat Democrats in the presidential election, not to mention the skill he has displayed in order to bring about all of the achievements Kellyanne mentioned. In my opinion, Kellyanne Conway is on fire with her razor-sharp reaction to the mainstream media.
it's crucial for Trump's supporters to continue backing his play and preparing for the presidential election in 2020. President Donald Trump is doing his part to put America first, just like we elected him to do, but it's up to us to match his efforts with our own.